All right, guys, we're going to talk about making a poster using words and a fire prevention theme today. When you're drawing flames, the easiest way to do it is to create an S-curve and make them pointy on the top, and then draw another S-curve on the other side to connect the two at the top. And then whatever it is that you're drawing the fire on is what it connects to at the bottom. Now, in this case, since we're using words, I'm going to create some words that are like block letters, which is easy to do. All you have to do is draw in your letters, and then you trace around the letters to make them more solid or thicker. So since the fire prevention theme this year is um, serve up fire safety in the kitchen, I'm going to use that as my theme, and I'm going to start by drawing a stove with some sort of pan um, that has a fire in it. And you can see where I'm going to take the letters and make them block letters here in a second. off the stove with some detail. I'm adding a fire extinguisher because that's another way to prevent fires in the kitchen. see how I am tracing around the letters to make them more solid or block letters. Once I trace around them, I'll actually be able to color the inside. And then over here, I'm going to draw a lid um, for the pan because that is one, um, one way that you can put out a grease fire. So now I'm tracing all of my drawings with um, Sharpie, which just kind of makes things pop and stand out a little bit. Again, with the fire, more S-curves, they're connected to each other. start coloring. Um, I'm not going to color everything. There's going to be some white left on the paper, but I am making sure I erase my pencil mark. And I'm also coloring, making sure that I add some lights and some dark. And I'm coloring nice and solid and being very careful with my coloring. When you're coloring fire, it's actually got a lot of different colors in it, so you can go with it and with your reds and oranges and yellows. I'm also blending the colors together, blending in between them. I'm tracing those letters too, just to make them stand out a little bit more off the white background. And 
now I'm just adding some finishing details. Again, make sure when you're coloring um, with whether it's crayon or colored pencil or marker, just make sure you suck up all that white so that you make sure that it's a nice, solid, even color. That way it doesn't look scribbly, it's just better craftsmanship. So I'm going to add the um, the foam that comes out of the fire extinguisher, and over here I'm going to add some smoke from the fire. Now we all know that smoke rises, so that you want to make that up coming up towards the ceiling, and it's going to kind of look like a puffy cloud.